Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we are finally going to talk Ravis Kelsey recapping his Eras Tour experience, him being what that was like, how it came to all the stuff. Jason broke it all down this week's heights of football season. So this is the chance from Trav and Jason life. We won't be getting an Eras recap, little nuggets time with Taylor. This is it, but they ended on a good all out. What? Well, first of all, how Travis getting on even came to be his thought process was all that stuff. So let's just dive in. Um, what was crazy? Well, it shouldn't have been crazy because of course it was Travis's idea, but that was the first thing that Travis, or not, but one of the first things he talked about was um, how this whole thing was his idea. And he actually thought to himself about what it would be like join the 1989 set because there's a part of that of that set where the backup day on bikes <laughs> and so I think he thought to himself wouldn't it I was on the bike so this is what he said to Jason I initially mentioned it to Tay I was like how funny would it be if I just rolled out on one of the bikes during the 1989 era um and then Taylor was like well <laughs> maybe you shouldn't be on a bike in case something happens but do you actually do you actually want to be a part of the show? And then Travis said, I was just like, what? I would love to do that. Are you kidding me? I've seen the show enough. Might as well put me to work, <laughs> which is true. He's seen the show so many times. I bet you he knows. We There's even been videos of him like doing the choreography um, during the show. I bet you if he needed to go out there to fill in for a backup dancer, he could do it at some point because he's seen the show enough to know most of the moves. Um, so Taylor vetoed the bike, but she, and it's, it ended up being the perfect place for Travis, but she was like, well, what about you coming out during that little interlude before I sing, I can do it with a broken heart. You can revive me back to life. Um, and so Travis said, and sure enough, she found the perfect part of the show for me to come in, which definitely, definitely a perfect, because you can't really mess that part up. There's no props. I mean, I guess there was a prop, the couch and the costuming, but like for him, he didn't really have to do all that much. He could just be kind of funny, silly. He didn't have to remember specific dance steps or worry about, again, what if my bike runs into an, another dancer or something? He could just kind of like be funny and silly. Um, yeah. And so Travis said, there was no bike in case I ran into somebody else or hit one of the dancers. It was the safest option. <laughs> Which is definitely, definitely. Um, and then recapping kind of the experience of what it was like, Travis said, it was an absolute blast. It was such a fun, playful part of the show. And it was like the perfect time for me to go up there, just be a ham and have some fun, not only with Taylor, but the crowd and really try and get everybody excited for the rest of the show. It was awesome. Travis also talked about how he was, he wanted to pull out some of his, um, some of the dance moves from his one of his favorite movies, Dumb and Dumber, Jim Carrey's dance moves, which he did do, which is also very, very, very Travis. Um, and then he talked about how, because if you watch the videos from his performance, it does take the crowd a second to fully realize and recognize, oh my God, that's Travis Kelsey. And of course it would, because why would you be expecting Travis Kelsey to be on stage it would be kind of a you you'd have to do almost a double take like is that actually Travis and so Travis was talking about how it took the crowd a second to realize it was him and then once they did they were freaking out so this is what he said when everyone found out that it was me because it took a second for everyone to figure it out that moment was pretty jarring I was just like oh um and you don't realize how big that damn stage is it is easily as big as a football stadium it's way bigger than I could have ever imagined um and then he, he also talked about how the one thing he had in his mind was don't drop the baby the baby being Taylor Swift because Travis obviously carried Taylor over um during the during part of that performance and just the thing he had in his head was I can't drop her I can't drop her I can't I can't drop her um which Travis who plays football and knows what it means to protect something as you're playing a game he was like going to be the last person to drop Taylor, obviously. Um, he did say he wanted to like do some other kind of weird thing, not weird things, but some other funny things, but he didn't do them and that he might do it in the future. Like if he ever goes back out on, on stage. So I don't know. It was very cool. 
I do think Travis will come back out on stage again. I would not be surprised. I feel like it won't be so often, but it wouldn't shock me if in some other, at some other date she brings him out or maybe like his final show before he has to go back to Kansas City for training camp or something. I could see him coming back out on stage. Maybe when she comes back to North America, he'll come out and do some shows if he has time to go during the football season. I don't know, but it was very... I just, again, what an iconic moment, a moment we will all remember. Um, Travis also talked about how cool it has been to meet all of these A-list celebrities at the concert. He obviously met Julia Roberts in Dublin. He met Stevie Nicks, and he was just saying how he can feel being in a space with those types of people and these icons, he can feel kind of like, what am I, what am I doing here? Why, why am I hanging out with all these people? And then Jason and him also kind of recapped meeting the people that were in the uh, VIP tent in London, Hugh Grant, Tom Cruise, Greta Gerwig, all of these people who are, I mean, Travis, he is very accomplished. Three time Super Bowl champion, arguably the best tight end ever in the game of football. One of the best football players ever. He is worthy of being in the VIP tent, but I could understand from his perspective, you are around Academy Award winning actors and the best musicians of all time. And just like these incredible, incredible performers, you can feel kind of like, what, what am I doing among all of these people? But Travis, now that you're watching this, just know you deserve to be there and you deserve to, uh, to hang out amongst the, the best and brightest that our world has to offer. Um, so yeah, I'll be curious to see Taylor is performing in the Netherlands this upcoming weekend on 4th of July. She will be performing in the, in the Netherlands. I I'm predicting it now. I think the Mahomeses are going to be at, at one of these shows. That is what my gut is telling me. I think that they will be there. Um, so if they are, that's going to be a fun thing for us to recap. Maybe Patrick will get on stage. <laughs> Who knows? Um, so we'll have to see if Travis is going to be there as well or what that's going to, how that's going to go down. But I just, I'm so happy that they're getting to spend all this time together, especially because we know that once football season starts back up again, Travis has to go to training camp and all this stuff. It's just going to be a lot of chaos. All It's always chaos with them. But it's nice that they get to spend all of this quality time together and bond um, before he has to get back to the States and get back to work and be busy again. And it is nice that they kind of have had this ability to like, Taylor has been able, was, was able to go to so many of Travis's games last season during her breaks between her tour and now Travis has been able to go see her during the break from his season and like, and then, you know, she'll get to go see him again once her tour has a break. So they've been able to have this nice kind of back and forth, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, very exciting. We will probably not have any more shows the rest of the week because of the 4th of July holiday and all that good stuff. Of course, unless something groundbreaking happens and we have to discuss, um, I will come on. I will, I, I will definitely do a video, but next week we will recap the Amsterdam shows, maybe potentially the Brittany and, and uh, Patrick Mahomes era's tour experience. Who, who knows any other Taylor Swift news? Again, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please, please subscribe, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.